So Uncle Ethan brought over some two by four. And each of these pieces of two by four is about and some of these. is about three feet long and some of these. And he basically brought it over because what did he buy you, Jensen? He bought you a toolkit. A toolkit, yeah, where is it? Um over here. And these are from it. Yes. Okay, so Uncle Ethan bought Jensen a toolkit and he brought all this wood round and said, build something out of this wood. Uh, you know, it's an important rite of passage uh, and it's an important father-son bonding experience to build a... Go-kart! Go-kart. <laughs> this into a design in Google SketchUp which is a brilliant product and uh, you can do all the kind of fun zooming in and you know kind of measuring and testing and everything now the design is based around the wheels we found now we found yeah. these tractor wheels on Craigslist okay so I'm excited about the wheels I think they're gonna work really well um, so some of the technical challenges with building out of two by four are that it's going to be very heavy um, and there's going to be structural challenges to building it. And one of the structural challenges is things like this. This is the only thing we've built so far. We, uh, we need uh, a shaft to go through here. The front wheel is going to go on and there's going to be quite a bit of twisting force on this. So um, twist, twist. we're going to put bearings on there. Uh, these bolts are epoxied inside of here and it's all glued and, and screwed together. But Jensen, what are we going to attempt as our first uh, big task now that, we've, now that we've done the steering pieces? I don't know. What do we just spend the last half an hour like sketching up on this piece of paper? Um, numbers and letters. Yeah. Numbers, the num each number represents a piece of wood that we're going to cut. It looks pretty good. I think it could, I think it should be finished. Yes, it's going to take a little while though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so uh, we have our plans and we have our wood. I'm just making all of the holes uh, through it so that we can pass our metal shafts, our rods through so that we can get some good structural integrity. Fortunately, Uncle Jordan has one of these bench presses, which is proving very, very useful. And Papa's helping. Thank you, Papa. And this is it laid out for the first time on the garage floor. Uh, and it's surprisingly big, actually, now that I see it in real life. Thank you, honey. Oh, beautiful hat. So these two rods here that we drilled holes for are for structural integrity. Those are threaded rods uh, so that we can kind of just, you know, tighten everything up make sure it's really nice and uh, secure because given that the, we only had these lengths, these shorter lengths, we really couldn't do like a whole front to back. Um, that was one of the constraints that we are working with, but actually I think it's led to quite a good look because we've got kind of got these side pods here. Um, it should be pretty sturdy in here. So that's all gonna be bolted together. Then we have this rod going through the back here, uh, which is uh, going to be there partly for structural rigidity, but actually this one isn't threaded. This one is there mostly to support these trailing arms. Now you see on the picture, we only have like one, but in reality, uh, those need to be doubled up because um, one, I mean, given the weight and the size of this thing, one is just, there's just way too much potential for flex here from right to left. Ooh. What do you think? Pretty good. Yeah. Well, a go-kart. Now, where do you think you sit? In the middle? Yeah, that's right. Right there. Um, and then you're right. The spoiler's going to come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. So the spoiler's going to go like that? Yeah. extremely pleased with how rigid this thing is. Now, the trailing arms are in. Now, one slight design change that I made is I was planning to have this rod go all the way through, but the um, spacers, the steel spacers that I've used the rod goes through have very, very low tolerance and getting it just wound all the way through was proving to be too difficult. And honestly, 
by putting this in instead, which is screwed in, and it's, 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 it's actually offering more structural integrity than the rod would have. So I'm very happy with this kind of just cut down uh, mechanism and the trailing arms. Uh, one of the things I was concerned about actually is the trailing arms would have too much uh, left right play. There'll be too much stress on this, but actually it turns out, I mean, it's just great. I can move it left and right from the end and there's just, there's no play in it at all. So once I've put something across here and I'm thinking maybe plywood because plywood will give me some nice sheer strength to link these two together. Um, but once we've got those linked together, we can put bearings on, I think they're gonna go on top. Uh, they might go underneath, but I think they're gonna go on top and then get the axle in and get the rear wheels on. And then we can start to play with it. Now, one uh, other consideration is the suspension. Now this has arrived and what we plan to do is to mount this, let's get this in position, mount this, something like that. As you can see, I've been working on the suspension of the go-kart. And when I build a cage around the inner tube, uh, which is quite effective, and it means that I can get a reasonable amount of springing, which is good, it's what I want. Um, however, it has led me to consider a design change. And let me show you what I, what I think I should do here. Now, the way this is designed right now is that um, pressure coming up uh, needs to be uh, met with an opposing force coming down. And the way that it's uh, levered or levered right now is that uh, a large amount of movement here equates to a small amount of movement here. And this tube needs to be inflated pretty high to provide enough opposing force to spring the go-kart adequately, I think. And my concern is that if I add a lot of air to this and, and pump up the pressure, my concern is that I'm just gonna get a puncture. Uh, I would much rather run a lower pressure with higher leverage than a high pressure with low leverage. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this, which is gonna be uh, just a simple bolt-on uh, change. And what that will do is it will translate this upward movement into sideways movement with a bit of leverage, and I'll be pressuring uh, the tube that way rather than pressuring the tube that way. And hopefully that will give me uh, a high spring rate for low air pressure. That's what we're going for. All right, I've made the modification. See at the back there, I've put some duct tape around the sharp edges and it's much improved. Let me show you, I can actually stand on it now and I can jump on it and it, I get uh, a really nice uh, amount of springing. So I think that's gonna be absolutely perfect and that's with the exact same air pressure as I had before. So now that the chassis is pretty much straight with the suspension in, uh, I can get the rear bearings on and get the wheels on and um, then we're left with the steering. <laughs> So we're testing the height of the steering wheel, aren't we, Jensen? Yeah, and we're testing if it goes good. But we can put and a piece I'm here, and we've put a piece there, and I, uh, we now need to fix it up to these I know what to do heim joints. I've finished the steering. Now, uh, I'm delighted with how it's come out. I debated all sorts of different approaches to doing this, um, and this one actually turned out to be remarkably simple. These plates here, are great because you can bend them slightly to get just the right angle. Um, and it's working great. It's steering really nicely from this uh, steering wheel here. Um, but the screw is allowing for a little bit too much play. I need to put like a pin in there or something or a bolt, something that's actually gonna uh, give a little bit less play, but uh, it's working great. So Jensen has not seen it yet. Oh, I think it's great. Can you, can you turn the steering wheel? Okay, so what I'm going to do, Jensen, is put a plank of wood on there you can sit on, and then I'm going to give you a little push. Yeah. Okay? Down the hill. Yeah, down the hill. Can you steer, Jensen? Thank you.